Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just gonna do the get ready with me. I'm going out to Travis Center today, so I've got to get ready. And I've got some products to show you guys. I've done a get ready with me so many times before, but they're just really easy to film. And I haven't actually shown you guys like my full, well, my full makeup routine in a while. So I thought I would do a video now. First of all, before we start today's video, whoa, shoes to show you guys from Rockkick. Are you Rockkick.ru? I'll show you the first shoes. So these shoes are from, I'll put the name here. I think it's like Pure Room or Moon Sneaker or something, I don't know. They sent me the, I don't, I don't know the name. They're just so cute. So they're the Air Jordan Times, you can't even see, on there, somewhere. These are the shoes, I'm in love with these. I've actually worn these out and it, look how pretty they are. Night tip that goes there and they've got like the writing because they're off white. And then the laces have got like writing on here. These are the other ones, so just like that. And then they've got the same. Same as that. They're the nicest shoes out. I wore them. I'll put a video of me styling them here. I've actually got a discount code you can use here. I'll put it here. And yeah, definitely go check these out. They sell the nicest shoes on their website. These are the second ones. I'm literally, I love these so much. These are actually a lot dirty because I wore them to Alton Towers. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. They're so, so gorgeous. So just like that. They're just black. I wanted some like black ones so that I could style with everything. I really don't want them. These ones came with orange laces, blue laces, and white laces. These came with black and white, but I think black goes nice with this. So yeah, I love these ones so much. Black tick, the black laces. I don't know if I've tied them right, but anyway, I've got a code for these ones as well, so definitely go check out. These from Rock Kit are you or something, but these are so, so pretty. Now I've got to do my makeup, because also my camera's about to die. My throat sounds funny right now, I don't know why. But I'm gonna start off by using, I use this every week, the salicylic acid. I have a feeling Ruby's gonna knock on any minute while I'm filming this video. Rub it on your face. They also sent me their new serum, which is the Peptide Q10 and Ginger Daily Defense Antioxide Serum. This one's so nice as well. I don't know how if these serums actually do anything for me. And then I'm just gonna add some CeraVe. I don't, I think it's just bad for my skin. I think it's doing my skin bad. Even though I said I, but cause whenever I use it, I end up getting like blotches, but I don't know if that's cause I don't really wear that much makeup to school. So I don't know if that's because when it's the holidays and I wear more makeup, my skin's not used to it. So I just wait for that to sit. I sometimes use my gua sha, but to be honest, I don't even use it that often. <laughs> or my jade roller. I wish I could use my eyes roll more, but I always forget to put it in the freezer. I don't know where you put it. So I've done that. Now we're going to start my actual makeup routine. I'm going to talk you guys through it because last time I just like speed thread. Speed thread? Sped through it. So the first thing I use is the Morphe 2 Skin Tint. I swear by this product. It's so good. But this is just like a really like a light glow coverage thing without it's kind of similar to the force filter by charlotte tilbury i think i've never actually used that but i just blend that in with a beauty blender i'm trying not to put it on my cheeks i've got this one spot that keeps coming back and it'll like fill the spot will fill i'm not even gonna talk about this one minute. Once I blended that in, then I used my concealer. How much concealer is like a good amount. But I have this one from Elf. I don't know the name. Force Brightening Concealer. And you just pump it. With, but I never know how much is a good amount. So I just do that. Is that good? Someone tell me. Blend that in. Also a beauty blender. Aren't beauty blenders really bad for you though? Because I swear they make your skin really dirty. They like hold germs, which is disgusting. <laughs> Okay, once I've done, what my eyes just went so funny. Once I've done my, why do I look like that? I'll go in my blush and like my bronzer and stuff. I don't know, like the brightening stuff. Okay, blush, I use this one from Clinique. It's the Mineral Matte Bru Blu Blush. Brush, just like that. I had to wash this because it got something on it. All up to my cheeks and up my cheekbone. Just to put blush in like the wrong place and put it like here, not here. That's where you're supposed to put it. I actually had a Morphe blush, which I love, but Matilda, accidentally took it but she has one but she hasn't given me mine back i got it back guys so i just put that on there tiny bit of this benefit blush on my cheeks as well not much though because i don't want to be too blushed okay that's good i'll add a tiny bit of bronzer which is the clinique bronzer that was the dandelion mini blush i got that for christmas in a set and it's actually really nice i add like a tiny bit of bronzer on my face and then a tiny bit of this it's like a scratch, but I got some my advent calendar. This blush is actually really good. It's like a shimmer blush. It just makes, it's like blush and highlight in one. All my brushes are from Primark. Like that's from Primark. 
that's some primer. Okay, now we're gonna do my brows. I haven't actually developed a good brow routine because my brows are quite skinny. So all I'll just show you what I do. I brush my brows up like that. I'll like go over them with the benefit. The benefit, what's it called? Like gimme brow. But this is the mini side. And it's so good. It just like gives your brows like a tint. done that that like tinted them a lot more and you can tell i never used to use a brow pencil but i found this one in my drawer it's from makeup obsession i just kind of fill in some of the gaps on my brows just to make them look a bit more filled and not like as wispy and then once i've done that i'll just like brush and try and like get off the excess bit of brow thing they don't look that much different but it just tinted them so not as light okay this is my favorite part so this is my eyelash bit so i got a new eyelash curler from primark and i posted a video of like getting ready versus getting unready in it i mentioned this and everyone in the comments was like going crazy about this primark curler so i must have bought a good one i just curl it for like two minutes about two minutes what am i saying 20 seconds kind of pressing it and then curling it upwards a bit and i'll do it like two times on both sides <laughs> And then once I've done that, I have two, um, not that, what am I doing? Yeah, two mascaras I use. So I use the Glossier one that Ruby got me for my birthday. This one's like really like lengthening. I love this one so much. It makes your lashes look really natural as if you've got lash extensions. And then just recently I tried out the Sky High because everyone raves about the Maybelline Sky High. And it's so light, the bottle adds like a lot of volume to your lashes. <laughs> And that's how long they look now. And that's, I don't curl them again because normally the mascara gets clunked on the curler. And then for a lip gloss, I either use the Morphe one or the Glossier one. I love them both. It's, and it, oh my God, it adds a bit of color. I never noticed that. Them two. And then I might add like a bit more blush if it's like not looking blushed enough. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have any setting spray because I don't really use foundation or anything to use a setting spray yeah that's my natural makeup routine um and then i just do my hair i think i'm just gonna brush it today first time yesterday and it looked quite nice and then i just brush my hair and kind of go like that then for jewelry i have i always buy these hoops from every jewels but today thanks so much hey happiness for also sending me some jewelry which i'm gonna show you guys in this video so they're called hey happiness boutique and they literally sent me the cutest piece of jewelry ever so this little paperclip necklace it is so 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 nice it's like really dainty jewelry as well like it feels like good quality and it's it's so like i just love like little dainty necklaces that you can wear like all the time this is not gonna go on let me to kind of put it on it's quite low down but it's like a really little paper clip and then they sent me this little bracelet it's the cutest little bracelet ever it's this little heart and it's like pearlescent it's so dainty i can never put bracelets on myself okay like that it's so cute it just like it's i love like little bracelets they're so cute i'm gonna there's a discount code you guys can use to get some money off your order and i'm also gonna leave the product links that i got the jewelry pieces which is so pretty down below so you can get them as well so you can match okay. so now i'm gonna show you guys my fit that i'm wearing today i'm wearing these car goes which are from Bershka which make your bum look so good. This little pink top which I'm obsessed with from Primark. I'm gonna try and get some more today. And then I'm either gonna wear, I don't know which one to wear. I have two pink bags to match the top. This one which I wore to my birthday which I could wear either like that or on my shoulder or this shoulder bag. Ruby's that just arrived or this one. I don't know which one to wear but I'll ask Ruby. 